Good morning. How are you this morning? Do you like my shirt? If you were to pick a color, what color would you pick? I'm going to pick... I haven't picked this color yet, I don't think. Orange. Orange. Or tangerine, as one of my moms calls it. Hmm. What is the date today? I've given you the clue. The picture. The other picture would be, besides this, actually it's this way, <laughs> would be popcorn. It's Thursday. Thunder Thursday. Or popcorn. And the number is. Can you see it? 18. That's right. 59. This is the 59th YouTube video. So that's pretty good. What's the weather like if you were to look outside? We've had a nice stretch of this weather. Sunny. And this is the temperature. 21. And Thornbury. And this is Meaford. 18. So another beautiful day. What's going on in the news today? Canada has failed to secure a seat on the United Nations Security Council. And I know that Trudeau really wanted to get on that council, but I guess he... Norway and Ireland got voted in before Canada. So that's some news. Ford has extended the emergency measures until June 30th, and he would like to continue the emergency measures into July, but so far it's to June 30th. Some good news. There is a nurse from Cambridge who had tested positive for COVID 13 times. That's 11 weeks, so 11 weeks she tested positive, and she finally got tested on the 14th time, and she tested negative. So, and she said she didn't have very severe symptoms. So, that was really interesting, how it's so different in each person. But she was very excited, because now she could get a hug she said. Uh, in Uganda, they are using recycled plastic bottles and they're turning them into PPE face shields for the hospitals. So that's a great idea. We definitely have lots of plastic bottles, don't we? The comic today. It was a really sweet one. On Tuesday, remember, Snoopy got his new house back, or his new house. And there's Charlie Brown talking to Snoopy. Oh, that was the one. Sorry, I'm backwards. So there's Snoopy on his roof of his doghouse, and the moon's out. And he says, I can't sleep. I guess I'm just kind of nervous. It's always exciting when you spend your first night on a new home. <laughs> I've never slept on my roof of my house, but I'm not a dog either. <laughs> so there you go. Full moon sometimes, I think, maybe make you have a hard time sleeping. 
Okay, the item. Yes, or Tuesday, it was this. And I think all my students would know what this is. This is what we would wear because we were trying to teach personal space because you can't always hug everyone you see or give them kisses because not everybody's in your inner circle. So this is what we were using and this would hook onto my pants and then it could come out so I could move it so people could see it. And this is very important right now because you need your personal space, right? So it's very, this would be a very useful tool if you went to the grocery store or something and you could show that to people. Give me my personal space. When I went to the grocery store yesterday, people were not doing this. It was very annoying because they were shopping for like one or two things and they were just racing through the grocery store. Anyway, okay, and do you know what this is? I picked this up from school and I wanted to show it on my YouTube video to see if you guys remember. Do you remember what this is? And you can see what it's doing today. Not much. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. And the video. This one's, I think is funny. This one. Okay, are you ready? Do you know what this sound is? This is going to be the, the real good clue. Ready? If you guessed, it's Ollie getting fed. You're right. That was me scooping the food. And it hits the bowl. <laughs> And then that was her crunching at the end. One of the, one of my to do, on my to do list, twice a day is feed Ollie. So I thought that would be cute to videotape the sound. Okay. The life skill today. So Tuesday we talked about sunscreen. There's another way that you can help protect your skin, specifically the skin on your face. Can you guess what it is? Hats. So this hat's not on properly because I have a ponytail, but this is one of my hats. And if I'm going to be out in the sun for a long time, I would wear this one. Do you know why? because it protects also my ears. So that's one of my hats. This is another one. This is not as protective for my ears, but a little bit more fashionable, I guess. So, and it's very nice because it's light and it can if I travel, I take this one because it can flatten and then it just pops right back into nice shape. But actually my favorite hats to wear are baseball caps in the summer. Because it, it helps protect here 
Unfortunately, it doesn't protect the ears very well. But I definitely remember I said, don't forget your ears with the sunscreen. This is another one of my hats. Recognize that. The Blue Jays. So I would wear that if I was to go to a baseball game. And then this hat. So those are my hats that I have. And I got this one when Connor and I went to Disney for him to compete in dance. Yeah. So hats are another way that you can protect your skin from the sun. And I was always told also that the top of your head you could get burnt like the wherever your part was so to wear a hat. That's what I was told when I was a little girl. So I always think of that too. It protects your head from getting too hot. And the sun has been out a lot, hasn't it? So it's good to protect our skin from the heat, the rays of the sun. Okay, we're going to the zoo. Do you know what this animal is? If you said a camel, you're right. And we are in Asia right now. And this is called the Bactrian camel. The most noticeable feature of the Bactrian camel is the two humps. Camels with one hump are dromedaries. Bactrians have thick, long, shaggy coats during cold weather, which they shed when it gets warmer. And if they're in the Toronto Zoo, it would get cold. This long, woolly coat varies in color from dark brown to sandy beige. Long hair hangs from the neck and gives the appearance of a beard. This mane of long hair on the neck and throat has Hairs up to 25 centimeters long. There you go again. Math. It's all about the math. 25 centimeters. So not quite the length of a ruler. I'm trying to see if Max has his green ruler out. Nope. They have bushy eyebrows, a double row of eyelashes, and the ears are lined with hair. The face is long and somewhat triangular with a split upper lip. Camels' hind legs are attached to their body at the top of their thigh. Horses and cow have their legs attached from the knee. The two broad toes on each foot have undivided soles. On average, they are seven feet tall, seven feet tall at the hump and weigh about 1,800 pounds or 816 kilograms, so they are heavy. So let's take a look at the face again. You can see the upper lip is split, and you can see the two humps. You can't see the eyelashes, but you can see the beard underneath the neck. Looks like he's smiling. Okay, where do they live? Bactrian camels inhabit arid reg regions. They live primarily in Central Asia, deserts north of the Himalayas. They are found along rivers in the Siberian steppe during winter, but disperse into the desert when the snow melts in the spring. Temperatures range from minus 29 in the winter to 38 degrees in the summer. Wow, that is quite the change in temperature. The diets, what do you think they are? Omnivores, herbivores, or carnivores? They're herbivores. They feed on grasses, juicy plants, leaves, branches, grains, and dates. And what is the threat to survival? 
Wild camels compete with domestic stock for pasture and water. They are killed for sport and for meat. Camels supply milk, meat, wool, hides, sinews, and bones. Sinews? Organizations like the Toronto Zoo or Wild Camel Protection Foundation are working to help save wild Bactrian camel populations. Wow, that's, that's really neat. Okay, so the camel. Isn't there a song about a camel? Has one home. Hum What's the name of the camel? So go, Alice. Is it Alice? Go. Alice the camel has two humps. Alice, is it Alice? The camel has two humps. Alice, the camel has two humps. So go, Alice, go. It's not Alice. What is it? Okay. The Toronto Zoo. And what are we going to do for our exercise today? Well, you know what? I just enjoyed that going outside and meditation. So we're going to do that all week. I mean, it's only three days this week, so... <laughs> three of the days. So we're going to go outside. I'll sit in a different position so I have a different view. So you're going to take a look at my flowers. And take a, try and listen to what we hear. Take in some deep breaths. <sighs> Here, morning doves and some other songbirds. Do you ever just go and sit outside? It's nice. Okay, we'll go back in. Does it make you feel relaxed? <clears throat> I'm putting down the computer very gently so I don't somehow mess up the video okay and the last thing is where would the lantern be can you see it right there okay i hope everybody has a great day thunder thursdays miss you and I will see you tomorrow. We'll do this again. Okay. Bye. <laughs>